Good morning. Good morning. Have Poppin'. a good morning. What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. If you guys saw some of the recent videos, we actually came to Osceola Outback last week, did some Barry Mundy fishing. Today we're actually back at Osceola because we're heading back towards Savannah and we're gonna be doing some bass fishing, also some peacock fishing, and possibly some more Barry Mundy fishing towards the end of the day. So it's gonna be a good day. It's actually beautiful out. We ended up having a cold front blowing a few days ago, but now it's like, what, 75 right now, Cody? Yeah. It feels great, it's beautiful outside. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started, do some bass fishing today, and see if we can catch some really big ones. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, guys. Oh my gosh, I have this micro lure. My drag is so loose. These are huge bluegill. Holy cow, look at this thing. Bro, Cody, <laughs> look at these. Those are nice bluegill. Yeah, he was pulling my drag, man. I had it so loose. <laughs> that's a nice little bluegill, though. Little bluegill, that's huge. It's pretty cool. Look at that. He ate it right away, didn't he? Look, yes, right here. You see that? That's crazy. Oh, he's gonna eat it right here. Do like a top water, baby. I'm gonna get down here, I can pitch it. Yeah, they're going after it, under it. There he is, dude. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. It's not a giant one, but that's old, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> there we go, guy. Oh, sh dude, that fish is a lot bigger than I thought. He's got a huge mouth on him. Look at that. That's like a four pounder. Mm hmm. <laughs> Look at that, Cody. What you think? Start the video off of that? Great way to start the video off. Yeah, dude, that's a good one. I really didn't think he was that big. I thought it was like a two pounder. That's a, that's a four pounder. Look how healthy he is. Pretty markings on that fish. Yeah. He just dove right over it. Nice. <laughs> dude, that's sweet. First one of the day and I, to be almost a four pounder, I think he's a high three number. That's a good fish, man. Get him back in the water. You see how healthy he is though? Yeah. He doesn't have like the fattest stomach ever, but I mean, it's, that's just a healthy fish, you can tell. You can tell how healthy he is. There it goes. Right back in. Dude, give me some, man. That was a good way to start. Well, guys, that was cool. First fish of the day. Not a bad bass by any means. We're gonna get us another shiner up on here. That was crazy. I really didn't think that fish was that big. It was cool. Look at these shiners too. These are some some really great shiners. This one's active too. This one should get munched. So there's a lot of bluegill that hang right off this dock. And they'll throw these shiners in a lot, so a lot of these fish kind of conjugate over on this bank. We're gonna see if we can get us another one. So if you guys are wondering how I'm hooking it, it's right through the bottom lip and right through the top, just like that. Nice little shiner. What's the biggest one you guys pulled out of here? Uh, about 10 pounds. 10 pounds. We got a few seven or seven to 10 pounds in there. Get ready. Yeah, he's gonna eat it. He just hit at him. Yeah, he did. Up in the grass. Them bass are tucked back under his grass. Yeah, right? I believe it. He swam up in that grass quick. Yeah, he did. It's because he knows, man. Well, as soon as he got near He knows what's about to go down. there a little further and see what he does. Yeah. I want to see him swim back in. He knows when you put him in there, he knows instantly. He's like, it's funny because you'll flip him in and they'll either just kind of like stay there or they'll just like skirt you off real quick. Yeah, he's going to the left. Yeah. He's going right where you want him. You know, there's bass around the edge of that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, dude. You ate it right at the no, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I stuck him, but then again, he got him a good piece of bait. It's not like we're throwing a little artificial, you know? You got him a good little taste of a cool. shiner action. That was cool. Kind of ate it like a top water. See, they're hanging on the edge of that grass. That's crazy, man. Like, those bait fish want to go up shallow, but nah, I mean, that's what the old big bass is said. All right, we can't let him get away. This. Yeah, he ate it like a top order right here. Yeah. Right on the edge of that, yeah. I just happened to not get him somehow. He probably grabbed about it, too. Yeah. Here we go. Yep, instantly. It's not a big one. That was a cool shot. He came off. It's all good. Things don't eat it. Maybe. I think that was like a bluegill or crappie. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Dude. He, tried to, he tried to eat that cigar right there. You see that? <laughs> you see that? Is that, what that is? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I just want to see him blow up on it. What if you drag it out? Drag it across the top. Try to get his attention. Oh, yeah, 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 right here. He just rolled on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, not a big one, but that's something. He just ate him right up in that grass. I think you're on the sum with that, Cody. Cody was saying, he was like, hey, why don't you reel it across? I reeled it across a few times, kind of got his attention, saw him roll on it, and then I just flipped right where he was and he ate it. Nice little fish. Still pretty markings on him. Thank you, buddy. Oh, yeah, dude. That was awesome. That was awesome. He ain't big, but <laughs> that was the coolest bite. That's not what I wanted to catch on that big shiner, dude. <laughs> I wanted to get like a five, six, seven, eight pounder, but that was neat. I hit him at the top of the water and he just kind of skirted across and he blew up on it. Look at that little fat belly on that thing. Not a big one, but that, that joker's got a gut, boy. He's been eating. What you think, Cody? Oh yeah. It's a nice fatty. little fish. He got a little hole in his mouth too. He's been caught a few times. Yeah. That is a fatty, dude. That's the fattest one we've seen. It's a little tiny guy. Guys, that was pretty cool, man. I've been waiting on the top water probably like that for a second. But that was my biggest shiner and I was expecting to catch like a big one on it. We started off the video with a good fish. And I think we're gonna get a big one today, guys. These fish bite in here really good. You know, they take care of this place. This is a special place that we're at today. This is not, this is not no normal pond that we're at today. It's actually a canal is what it is, but they're loaded in here can't be letting them do this to us you can tell when a fish is about to eat it that thing starts going crazy he'll start like running around really hard then you just feel that one hard thump and you can just, just see that line running they haven't been eating it all the way though these fish are actually oh 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 he got me small one really small bass <laughs> that's a minnow man yeah. We traded a minnow for a little bigger of a minnow. Baby. You want to just put him on there? I got his eye, dude. No. Or I barely missed it. He got lucky. I got the corner of it. Yeah, he's good. That's the smallest bass. That's the last thing I want eating all the shiners, right? Yeah. If he does it again, we're just going to have to put him on there, man. Been a naughty boy. So Cody's got a little idea here. What you doing, buddy? We'll throw this bread out there, which should attract the bluegill, and in turn the should attract the bass. Yeah. So let's see what we do. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready, dude. Yeah, Hold get on. Ready. Oh yeah, get ready. Is that the bass? 
No, those are bluegill, but the bass will come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I wait a second? Here we go, here we go. I'm just throwing it in there. Dude, those bluegill are crazy, bro. Oh. Look how big they are. That was Did you see that one, head. dude? It's like a shark. Oh, they're trying to eat the shiner, bro. <laughs> Guys, look at this. He threw that He threw that bread in there. We're gonna see if we can get this little tiny micro lure. These bluegill are gonna tear this up, man. And they're huge. We saw one that was like a shark. <laughs> I didn't know we we're sitting here doing this. Oh! Dude, that's, that's not bad wide bait size. He's a little big, but he's just, I mean, dude, like, I'm telling you, a 10 pound bass would eat that up like it's nothing. Like, look how he choked that thing, too. He didn't play around. Here we go. It's a beautiful bluegill. Yep. See, that's good live bait size. That's that's not too big, you know. You'd be good on the hook. Let's see. Can't get away from the small guys, can we? We got our shiner back though, so that's a good sign. It's a good thing. It's right at the edge of that grass. I couldn't tell you. How many of you think are sitting there? No Ton. They just probably keep pulling up and pulling off. Dude. You'll see 20, there. there he is. Nothing big. We'll say the colors on these fish here. They're awesome though. Like that, throw that thing out there. Don't don't put any tension on it. Let that thing go to the bottom. Just hit the bottom and sit there. You think I should just try it? The peacocks yeah. and just don't move it. You can't yeah. Move it all. Really. Let it fall to the bottom real slow and then sit. Sometimes the big fish they'll get lazy. They don't want to taste it. Yeah. They'll eat it off the bottom though. Yeah. Yeah, those peacocks, they were still eating all those dead ones that we had. Look, some did get me. No? Uh, he was playing with it. Yeah, look, you got it. <laughs> he ain't big. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm waiting to see that big head come up. He had a dead shiner though. I mean, he still had a little bit of movement, but he was, he was hurting. Another small bass. That's a little stud, ain't it? Yeah. Little fat belly. Fat belly bass. All right, we did a good bit of fishing by the dock. Caught a few bass, but we're about to hop in this bad boy. Drive around, see what else we can find. Yeah, find something. Listen, we need like a seven, nine, eight. eight. We'll, go, we'll go down to the other end down there and see if we can get something. See if we can get something big? Yeah, we'll All see. Right, let's get it. things get up in my pants. Yeah. That's what was poking me the other day. It was on me the whole car ride. Until we stopped and I was like, what is on my back? I got one right here, bro. Oh, that's a good one. Two and a half pounder. I was kind of reeling it in, dude. I wasn't really working on the bottom how I should. Look at that little slug or something in his mouth. See that on his top mouth? Hold on one sec. Probably a leech. Hold yeah. <laughs> That's a nice little fish. A little two pounder. Yeah. Yeah, he ate that. <laughs> Dude, I was like working it on the bottom. I started kind of reeling in, just hopping it, and he just grabbed it right there. That was yeah. nice. But there we go. That's our first one in this little spot. Give me some, brother. All right, guys, we just got by this little canal. 
There's a bunch of peacocks right here. I got this little jig head. We're gonna see if we can catch one on this first. If we can't get one on this, we're gonna I'll throw the little shiners in there. Let's see. There's a lot of peacocks right here, man. A lot of peacocks. Look, they're interesting. Barely don't don't flip it enough and just kind of barely move. Let it kick off that grass. You got them right up against the Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, he's gonna eat it. I thought that one was gonna eat it. Well, you, he sucked it in, but they hit it and spit it out. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, he's only eat this. <laughs> that quick. Look at all of them with him. Look at that. He just took that shiner out. Yeah, no, Poor guy. Like he would. <laughs> as soon as he spits that shiner out, another one's gonna eat it. Yep. Yeah, he's not big, but he's something. That's cool. Look at that. Not a big one, but he's got pretty colors to him. Those peacocks are so pretty. Look at the bright colors. I feel sorry for this guy. He had to sacrifice himself and then someone else stole his bait. Look at that. It's a pretty one. We're just catching everything in today's video, aren't we, Cody? Yeah. Got some big bluegill, got some bass, got a peacock. What else did we catch? That's it? Maybe a bear. Maybe a bear, Monday. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe a big bear Monday. Big bear Monday? Yeah. Like a jerkbait bear Monday? Alright. Is that your new favorite way to catch them? Bro, that was so much fun. If you guys haven't seen that other bear Monday video, go check it out. We'll link it down below. I mean, we were here last week, but we had some eating the jerkbait. <laughs> it was so much fun. See, that shiner fishing with the peacocks ain't even fair. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> that's not a bad one he's bigger than the last one they're just fighting over it too man they get they get ultra aggressive it's like you get like three or four of them around it and they just kind of fire each other up stop these peacocks are mean man Dude, I mean, they tear up your thumb <laughs> worse than a regular bass too because of that. <laughs> he was tired of waiting on me. He's like, I'm just gonna release myself. <laughs> that was cool there. We'll do that one more time. One more. They're aggressive, but it's like they're also smart. Look, 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 <laughs> bro. <laughs> That's so crazy how easy they'll eat that. It's like they try to play really smart, and then you'll just drop it in front of their nose, and they'll just eat it. Nothing big, not not any big peacocks, but they're they're fun to catch, man. They're aggressive too. They're mean fish. More importantly, this got sweet markings. All right, there we go. That's pretty pee. You want to catch one, Cody? Yeah. And give it a shot. <laughs> Dude, they just they go crazy on it. You find like three of them, you put it in front of them. They're gonna get aggressive and just eat it. There you go, dude. Nice man. There we go. Okay. It's yeah. a pretty one. Nice. Mm -hmm. You will release on. Little toss. <laughs> Good job, man. Hey. Oh, it's got a cool marking too. All right, we're gonna catch it. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Go. I don't have my glasses. He's somewhere right there. See his black face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my oh, gosh. Man. Oh my god! Yeah, that one does have cool markings. All right, I didn't hook. I didn't. Uh, I didn't hook him at all. All right, we're gonna do this quick. Yeah. Come here, shiny. Okay. I gotta catch that one. None. None of the other ones are allowed to eat it. I don't know where he went. Is that him right there? There's so many. I can't see anymore because of the wind. Like, there's a lot right there, but I, I can't tell which one's him. Screw it. Oh, he's done. Oh, dude, they're jumping. They're jumping trying to get the bait out of his mouth. That was cool. That's a pretty one. This thing's going to tear you up, boy. There's something else. 
Yeah, he's got, look. He's got one of those little leeches in his mouth. Mm-hmm. That last one That's I a pretty one, one though. Too. Look at that, dude. That one's really cool. Yeah. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Share this video with a friend. Get somebody new in the fishing. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll catch y'all in the next video.